Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I am looking for individuals who know how to code and individuals who understand Llama, Discord, Olama, Anaconda, Python, PyCharm, and the like. Don't need individuals who know it like the back of their hand, but I am looking for individuals who know it like the back of their hand. I have several ideas. They will have to, the people who I do select will have to sign a non disclosure agreement and they will have to understand the information that is decided by the corporation that I'll be creating is proprietary. In other words, they won't be able to take the ideas and bring them someplace else. And I assure you, nobody else is thinking this way. If they are, they are definitely keeping it to themselves. However, I have an idea for a company that this is what they will do. Create products for people because that's where we are right now. And I'm not talking about some little basic mediocre product. Okay? I will provide the corporation. I will provide the information. And individuals can add to it. The corporation will own everything, not me. I am not the owner of the corporation. That's the way I do things. Never, ever, ever have I ever placed myself in, what is that word for it? Dictatorship. Now, there have been times where I've had to come in and refocus organizations because people tend to want to take them in a different direction than what was originally planned. I really can't stand that. When I create corporations, I tell people, this is what the corporation is going to do. And then they see the idea, and then they want to bring in their ideas. Now, I don't mind incorporating ideas into the idea. That's business. But not that someone else's idea is going to take over the idea that I originally started. No, I will never let that happen. If you have an idea, then go start your own corporation. I'm not looking to merge. Like I said, I don't mind incorporating other ideas into a corporation, but I will not allow anyone to come in and just commandeer, take over, and let their ideas be the new idea. I've always said it, I'll say it again. If a person's ideas are supposed to be that great, then they should have already executed their ideas. Literally. So, if you're interested, and I know that other people got so much going on, this is not a full-time thing. This is an automated thing. We're going to be creating automated programs that's going to do the work for us. I can't explain everything because if I explained everything, how it's going to work, and I promise you most of what we're going to be doing, nobody else is doing. I say this again. Most of what we're going to be doing, nobody else is doing. The information is proprietary. Won't be allowed to be shared with anybody else, friends, family, none of that, none of their business. Okay, need to make sure of that. And we will probably set up with, it's, it's hard to explain this to people because people don't understand. There is no such thing as a secured server. We don't live in that world. There is no such thing as a secured email. We do not live in that world. If it goes through the internet, it can be uh, intercepted. If you have an email and it goes through the internet, it can be intercepted. And most likely it has been intercepted. There is no such thing as private IMs, instant messages, or private Gmail communication. There's no such thing. If you can see it, everybody else can see it. You always need to look at it that way. That's why I have to put in the initial understanding of what's going on. I have to do that like I'm doing now on video. Why? Because it's in memorial. Memoriam? That's right. Forever. All right. With that being said, what are we looking for? We're looking for people who have coding skills and people who understand SAS. S-A-A-S. Now, I know some people are going to want me to explain what SAS is. If you need me to explain what SAS is, then you don't have the experience. But just so you know, SAS is service uh, system, uh, software as a service. Sorry, I'm getting ready to finish a document that I've been working on and a video. Uh, probably will do the video tomorrow, maybe do the video today. 
explaining that document and explaining small claims court, so I have a lot on my mind right now. But this is what I'm looking for. I was supposed to do this video two weeks ago and been distracted. So if you have those skills that I spoke of at the beginning of this video, skills in dealing with Discord, Llama, Studio, Llama, Anaconda, PyCharm, and Python. Definitely Python. I told people about Python in 2018. Told them what Python was getting ready to do. Even told someone, hey, your son needs a job. He needs to do something with his life. Tell him to learn this. Here are the courses. They will teach you. All you got to do is watch the videos and have a computer. That's all you need. I said, everybody's going to be looking for these type of coders. They never did what I suggested. I even told another guy, I said, hey, this is what's going on now. People are creating this. You need to learn this. His son never did it because they can't see the future. Nobody wants to do the work. They don't want to do the educating themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, the rest of you need to understand exactly what I'm asking for is what is going to be needed this year and into the foreseeable future. This is where we are. We're going to be a digital age society. Everything is going digital. Everything is going digital. And if you don't go digital, you're going to be left behind. Mark my word. If you do not go digital, you're going to be left behind. It's not about no chat GPT. It's about computer. Computers. It really is about computers, people. What type of computer? Well, now you're talking about computing. That's why quantum computers are going to be the next fad. Mark my word. By the end of this year, that's all you're going to be hearing about is quantum computers. Why? Because they're becoming affordable. All right. Thank you guys for taking the time. But if you want to contact, we're going to have you contact. Give me a second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the email address you'll be communicating with is Q, the letter Q, as in Quincy. And we're going to go ahead and just do a compose thing so that we can let you see the email address. Q at quidgen, quantum generation dot com. Q, Q U I G E N, Q at quidgen dot com. That's where you will communicate. Yes, that is the name that I've chosen for the company. And again, that's why I told you the next thing is quantum generation. So that gives you a little idea of what the focus will be. Look, the problem with people is they don't see the future. You have to be able to see where we're headed. And that's what this company is designed to do. So if you have those skills that I spoke about at the beginning, and this is a technically profit sharing, but I don't want to use the word profit because there's a lot of tax liabilities that come when you use words like profit sharing. But each one of the individuals will be part owners of the organization after they prove themselves. This is not just an automatic you're in uh, like I've done with the other companies. This is a I need to see the skills. Once we have the skills, then we can work out the contracts. We can work out the agreement. We can work out the parameters. And if you know anything about me, if any of you have ever heard of how I work, you will see that I try to be as fair as I possibly can at every single moment. I just don't tolerate nonsense and I don't tolerate ignorance. So if you're coming in with an attitude, you can go right back out. I don't have time for it. That's not how you do business. I do business. Everything is business. This is not friendship. Friendship and business don't mix. You cannot have friends in business because business has to result in business. I'm not about the bottom line, such as making every single penny, siphoning every single penny out of people. I don't want to do that. That is not the mindset here. I'm not trying to create millionaires, but I do envision that this is exactly what this organization will do. All right. Have a good day, everybody. And thank you for your time.